Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada, and I'd like to thank you for pressing play on today's video. Today's card is going to be a quick and easy one. We're going to be creating with products from the new holiday catalog, as I like to call it. It's the mini September to December 2023 Stampin' Up! catalog, but for me, it will always be the the holiday mini. So I am using, I thought it was easier just to flip. There we go. I'm using the A Walk in the Forest um, designer series paper. This is the Making a Difference here in Canada. Every time um, somebody purchases a package of this 12 by 12 designer series paper, Stampin' Up! will donate $4 to the Salvation Army. How fabulous. All right, I'm also using the um, Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder. I'm using the Balmy Blue 3 8 inch sparkle ribbon. That's on page 23. And then to page 39, I'm using the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set. This is also available as a bundle. And then I am using, on page 63, I'm using the Deckled Circles dies. So let's get started, get that out of the way. Here is the fun card that I'm going to be creating. So let's set that aside. With your 3D embossing folders, you don't have to do this. However, I find that it does work better if you take a um, spritzer just filled with water and give it a little spritz to soften those fibers. Um, you don't have to do that. However, I just find that with 3D embossing folders, I get a better embossed image by doing that. Okay, and then I'm going to put it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'm using plate number one and plate number four, which is the specialty plate. You're making your sandwich with that. And run that through. And it is damp, so it's going to take a moment or two to dry. But there we have it. So pretty. All right. So now let's get started here. Let's move this to the side. And we have the Balmy Blue and Pretty Peacock are my colors. And I'm just going to grab a piece of cut down grid paper and where oh here we go so all of the measurements can be found on my coordinating blog post so that you can easily recreate this card with any products that you may have all right so i am going to stamp i'm going to ink up in the balmy blue and I'm going to stamp off because it's quite dark. I'm going to re-moisten that ink with my breath and stamp. And there we have that. And now our sentiment. I do apologize, Maisie is barking. I hope it doesn't get your fur babies going. So winter greetings in the uh, pretty peacock centered. There we go. Now let's do the insert as well. So set that aside. We're gonna come back well, we're done with this, so we're, let's close this up so don't, we don't accidentally use it. So ink it up, stamp, get that out of the way. I'm using my pierce mat because it's a photopolymer set and 
it there's no cushion to the stamp itself so having a pierce mat or something that has cushion to it is going to help get a better stamped image i find all right so now i'm doing that detailed and i'm going to get my head in camera view so let me just hope that i can line that up there we go isn't that cool looking i think it's so cool i'm not quite centered properly but you know what it's good enough for me i think it's very cool all right so this is the walk in the forest my strips are four inches by one and a half inch okay but remember all of my measurements will be found over on my blog post the link to that will be in the description box below and don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from me. Please leave me a comment. Let me know where you're coming from. Okay, so we're going to stick this on the inside. It's much easier to line up when you don't have... Um, something in your way to get that uh, lined up. All right, so now we're going to apply our liquid glue. And this is balmy blue that I am putting my basic white and I've got too much glue on there. It's a brand new bottle, so it's gushing out a little bit. And let's just scooch, scooch. That looks good. Flip that over to give it a good press. This is a very, very easy layout um, that you can use for any type of card and is great for using up those scraps of designer paper that you might have kicking around. Okay. Line that up. All right, so I'm going to line up my paper and I'm going to see which, do I like the white berries at the top or below? I think I like that orientation better. So that is the way I'm going to glue that on. So we're gonna go up a little bit and over to the left-hand side. And then this is going to overlap come down a little bit, overlap a bit, so that you're kind of, sort of, have the same-ish. I'm just turning it all around to make sure that my paper is straight. I think that looks okay. Maybe give it a little scooch that way. Now, for putting my ribbon on, I am going to cut two pieces. And I'm going to give that just a bit of an angle for each. And I've got the one is slightly longer than the other. So I am going to lay them out on my card how I want it to sit and then I'm going to bring my label here with my winter greetings and I'm going to just then adjust I think I want this out and down just I think that I think that looks okay maybe just come up just a smidge all right so my placement, 
I'm finding that it's easier to use the stamp and seal plus and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that right here the bottom one and I'm going to apply that stamp and seal for that top and then I'm going to go right beside and bring in my stamp and seal put it right beside it layer those up and then this is the area down here where my winter greetings is going to it's going to stick out of so i know i need to take just to make sure i'm going to put a little bit more stamp and seal right there then i'm going to bring in my dimensionals and i'm going to put three on And then line that up. I think that looks good. And just there. And then the stamp and seal plus that's on the underneath side of that label is now stuck to those bits of ribbon and it's not going anywhere. And there is our quick and easy, pretty Christmas card using brand new products. And like I said, this layout can be used for any type of card that you might um, need to be creating and great for using up those scraps. So don't forget that all of the measurements can be found on my blog. This is also card number three for Maisie's Makes. Uh, it's my customer rewards program so this is card number three so these are the other two cards so with qualifying purchase this month september um you will be able to choose either the card guts or a package of these embellishments as a thank you gift from me all of the details will be on my blog post that link is in the description box below Please use this month's host code if you're shopping in my online store. Um, if your order is under $200, uh, if it's over $200, don't use the code as you're going to get your own rewards. I use all of the orders that um, use my code. I use those um, rewards that I gain to, create, to uh, purchase things like this to give thank you gifts to you. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous day. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from you and know where my viewers are uh, watching from. If you like my video, please share it. Sharing is caring and it's how I meet more crafty friends, followers, subscribers, customers, and team members. All right, bye for now.